the following exercises, graph the given function by hand. Okay, so when they tell you this, there's two things that we can do. The first thing is we can actually graph these guys by doing a chart. You label an X and a Y chart. You give yourself numbers for X, so maybe negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. Do the math, plug it in for Y, and plot those points. We've done those in the previous videos. If you guys are on the Absolute Value playlist, which I highly recommend, you can see the link in the description for that. We've done it that way, but I want to show you a different way, which is quicker than doing the math over and over and over again. So for these, I'm going to show you the quick inversion of figuring out how to draw these graphs. Now, the first thing that we have to know, and let's start from left to right. So let's do this uh, graph first. So y equals the absolute value of x minus 2. The first thing, if you want to do the quick inversion, the first thing that you have to remember is what an absolute graph, an absolute value graph looks like. By default, an absolute value graph always will look like this. It will always start at the origin, and then it forms a V by going up these lines. Now, I'm doing it this way. You see how I'm nice? I'm connecting it like diagonal to diagonal. You see that? Because it always goes up one, over one, up one, over one, up one, over one, okay? Or over one, up one, whichever one that I did. But as you can see here, from the origin, it has a nice V shape to it. That's what you have to memorize. So I'm just going to get rid of the dots, and I'm going to draw um, that graph. So let's see if I can do this nice. We will come down here, ricochet off and come back up here. Perfect. Okay. So this by default is y equals the absolute value of x. Memorize this blue graph. Yeah? Now we got the hardest part out of the way. We have this part. So we already know that we have this type of shape because we know that the absolute value of x um, is always going to give me the v-shape. Now we have to work on this minus 2. This comes in by knowing your transformations. Now, good thing is that we also have a playlist for that. So you could check that out, the, the playlist for transformations, if you guys need a little bit more help with that, will be in the description. So just look out for that playlist. Got tons of questions up there for, for you guys. So by knowing that, a negative or a positive number outside of your function. This is your function, the absolute value. Do you see how the negative 2 is outside of the absolute value? Right? It wasn't written as this. It wasn't written as absolute value minus 2, and then you close that absolute value. So you need to know the difference between plus and minuses outside of an absolute value, and then inside. Now this minus 2 is outside of the absolute value. Anytime that something is outside of a function, it's a vertical shift. It will be shifting up and down. So let's do it this way. You could either shift up or you can shift down. Now, the, the difference is that whether this is a minus or a plus 2. Just know that a plus value is shifting up. So if it was a plus 2, you would be shifting the whole graph upward. However, since this is a minus, you're shifting it down. Okay, so just know that. So shift up or shift down, these are outside the function, okay? So now, what does that mean? I'm just going to put it over here. The only shift that we have, we had a negative 2. That was outside, and minus means down. So I'm just going to be shifting down two units. Okay, so look what's going to happen, guys. Let's try to visualize this. 
what's going to happen is I'm going to take the whole graph and all I have to do is just shift it down to, we'll say two units, two lines. So here I go. I'm going to go down once. You see that? You see, I went down once and the whole graph comes down to it, which means every point will come down once. And now I got to go down twice. So here I go. I'm going down again. And I like this. It actually shows you what happened before and after until I release the mouse. So if I let go, one and two. There you go. So that's it. It was up here, something like this. And you, all you did was you went down two. And that is your new graph. That's the answer for this one. Awesome job, guys. Now let's do the next one. Okay, y equals a negative times an absolute value. Okay, well, we know already that the absolute value, we already know where the beginning of the absolute value is. So I'm just going to copy this one and bring it down to the start. So that's our starting point. As always, the absolute value is starting always at the middle, the origin, and then it sh shifts to the left and the right directions by one. So in this nice little diagonal form, just like this. And now we just have to do our transformations, our shifts. What is different? Oh, and you know what? Let me actually get rid of this because it's not there anymore. Okay. And let me just say, just so that you guys have it at the end, that this was y equals the absolute value of x minus two. Okay. So going back to this one, what shifts are here? What is extra in this equation? We know that the absolute value of x is what we just drew. The only thing that's different is that it's a times by a minus or a negative, right? Technically, this is the same thing as y equals a negative 1 times the absolute value of x. This is your transformation. So what happens if you have a number times by that absolute value. This is now reflections. So if you times by a negative one, you are reflecting. And actually, let me put this up here. So you're reflecting around the x axis for this one, which means that for all of the points, You're just going to be drawing the opposite of your x-axis. So you're going to draw the same point, but now you're going to draw it below the x-axis. So this one was above the x-axis, one of them. So now you just draw it one below. This one was two above the x-axis, so I got to draw it two below. This one was three above the x-axis, so it's three below. You kind of get the idea if I draw it on this side as well. So what happens is you're just basically going to flip your graph. So what I'm going to do is maybe I will copy and it's just a flip. Whoop. Let's see if I could get it perfect. And it should look something like this. Oh, wow. That's actually perfect. Good job, Christina. Now this one was the old one. This one is the new one. And just like we said before, this one was the old one. I have to do the same thing down below. One up top, one down below. And when you do that, you strip away the beginning function. And look at that, guys. You see that? That's a beautiful graph of just flipping it on its x-axis. And that is your answer. This is y equals negative the absolute value of x. Okay. So now let's try to put these all together and see, you know, see if we could do it for this one. y equals now negative times the absolute value of x minus 2. So we're now just incorporating both of them. So the negative two from before told us that we had to shift down two units. The negative 
tells me that I have to reflect from the x-axis. So let's see if I can bring up our original. All we have to do is start from the original. And now it really doesn't matter which one you do first. Let's reflect first. Reflections are a little bit harder than just shifting up and down. So I'm going to just reflect first. So we saw that it was now like a mountaintop, right? And I think, I think that's good. That's pretty good. Yeah. So there we go. This is now y equals negative times the absolute value, right? Just like the answer before. And now all we have to do, so this part is checked. Now all we have to do is just shift down two units. So I'm, I'll start from the origin. And now I just have to pull that down two numbers. And when you do that, the whole graph will shift down with it. So this point will get shifted down twice. And then this point will get shifted down twice. So you kind of see that new line being formed. So all that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my graph and go down one and then go down two. And now let me just take this arrow and bring it towards. There you go. And look at that. That's it, guys. This would be y equals negative times the absolute value of x and then minus 2. That's it. What do you guys think? Pretty simple, right? But just know that it all stems from the absolute value, which is a v. And then you can do all your manipulations, all your transformations by that. All right? So... Give this video a like if it helped you. Subscribe to the channel if you want. And thank you so much for that. I hope you guys are enjoying math. I hope we make it fun for you guys. And let, let me know. Love talking to you guys. Um, and I will see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Happy studying.